back with another video here and today we are going to be doing the ice fruit showcase unawakened and awakened so let's pull out the ice fruit here there we go and let's eat that or not Now let's get on into awakening the ice fruit here. Alrighty, we're buying our first microchip here. I'm going to use a flame fruit. So let's buy our first ice raid chip here. And we'll get the first move awakened. Alright, let's get on into it with our little team here. Alright, see that is the first ice raid completed. So let's get this first move awakened here. Ascension for 500 fragments. Alright, there we go. We have Cold Storm. I'm not going to try it out just yet. Alright, let's get on with this second raid. Alright, so we are buying our second raid chip here, which we will be buying with money. So let's grab that, and there we go. And let's, straight, let's jump straight on into this next ice raid. Alright, so we are buying our third ice raid chip here going to use a, another flame fruit here and there we go got our team ready let's get into it alrighty that is the third ice raid completed for 3000 fragments we can get the next move awakened. Now we have a glacial surge. Okay, I'm about to get the fourth microchip here for the ice raid. There we go. Let's head straight on into it. Alrighty, that is the fourth ice raid completed. And then we can get the sea move awakened for 4,000 fragments. That would be ice bird there. And then now it's frozen dragon. Okay. Okay, we're about to buy the fifth ice microchip. And then we can awaken the last move on the ice fruit. Alright, our team's ready. Let's get on into it. Alrighty. That is the last and final ice raid completed. And we can get the V ability awakened for 5,000 fragments. That would be the glacial approach changed to absolute zero. So let's go check this ice fruit out. Alrighty, it's time to see how much damage and what the ice fruit unawakened looks like here. So we'll zoom a bit in a little bit more. There we go. Alright, first up we have ice spheres with 3,859 damage. We're going to try that once more for the second time Ice Spears with 3,859 damage. We're going to try out Ice Surge. 3,309 damage. We're going to try that once more once it's ready. And here's Ice Surge for the second time, with 3,309 damage again. 
Okay, we're going to try out Ice Bird for the first time here. 2,941 damage. We're going to try that once more once it's ready. And here's Ice Bird for the second time with 2,941 damage. Okay, we're going to try out Glacial Approach. And that has 2,745 damage. Gonna try that once more once it's ready. And we have Glacial Approach here for the second time with 2,757 damage. Okay, now we're gonna have a look at the Ice Fruit Awakened. So first up, we have Cold Storm. doing 2451 damage we're gonna try that for a second time here and it's done 3676 damage we're gonna try glacial surge doing 3676 damage we're gonna try that for a second time here once it's ready We have a Glacial Surge here for a second time, doing 3,676 damage again. So now we're going to go move on to Frozen Dragon. Okay, that's done 3,125 damage, I think, there. Okay, now we're going to do it from a distance here and see how much damage it does and how much range it has. Okay, so it did the same amount of damage, and it did hit him, so it has a bit of range to it as well. Okay, moving on to Absolute Zero. Doing 3,310 damage. We're going to try that once again, once it's ready. And here we are trying Absolute Zero again for the second time doing 3,310 damage. And now for the last move, we have Ice Skating, which you don't have unawakened. You need it to be awakened to have Ice Skating. Alrighty guys, that's going to be the end of the video there. So if you all enjoyed, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you're not wanting to miss out on any future videos or live streams, make sure to hit that notification bell as well. Alrighty guys, have a good one and we'll see you on the next.